We are just a little ways northeast of the Crater of Diamonds State Park on the Worthington Mine. This 10 acres had trees all over it a year ago. Now all the trees have been clear cut and brush has grown up. This afternoon, Kurt Lenz has brought his backhoe and is digging, removing overburden off the top of the lamp right here. We'd like to see what's underneath. We have an idea because of this pit. The lamperite is only at the top of these shovels here. So he doesn't have to dig very far to take the lid off of the lamperite deposit. And according to the ground magnetic survey, the lamperite extends over to this post right here by this tree, that's 200 feet off of our corner post. So we're going to dig and try to find the edge of the lamperite, get the contact zone exposed, and uh, mine all this lamperite. You can kind of see the gravel right here, and that marks the top of the lamperite. And so once he removes the silver burden, I mean, it's not all flat in here. It's like three and a half to four feet deep, depending on where you're digging. And it might be deeper over there where he's at. I don't know. But in this pit that we've opened up previously, there's three and a half to four feet of overburden. And then you're in pure lamperite. So that's what we're digging to expose. Maybe we're already at the edge. Uh, he seems to be digging fairly deep, and I haven't seen the lamperite yet, but... There's no law saying it has to be flat, so he's digging to try to avoid this stump. And there's another big, this is a huge oak stump here, probably a hundred year old oak, maybe 150. So nobody has ever looked for diamonds here before, because this was all covered in trees. Now with the trees removed, we can take the lid off of the treasure chest and see how many diamonds are in this lamperite underneath. That gravel indicates the contact between the overburden and the lamperite. There's just a little gravel layer there. Then, jasper gravel layer. 